That'll get your morning going. Let's rediscover Arizona. Whether you're a native or you just moved here, there are so many hidden gems we know you want to get out and check out. Yeah, I mean, Crystal Henderson is picking this one up for us. She shows us now a special place that is both a Phoenix point of pride and also on the National Register of Historic Places. The man behind this bubblegum is also the mastermind behind this magnificent mansion in Phoenix. William Wrigley Jr. built this for his wife nearly a century ago as a 50th wedding anniversary. Now you can dine and take a tour. Come on. Welcome to the Wrigley Mansion. So we're in the rotunda here. We try to keep a lot of it original. It was one of the first houses to actually have a phone in the house. If you look on the walls, that's actually uh, Wrigley's gum wrappers that they use to kind of line everything else. Uh, this is one of my favorite rooms in here. This is Jamie's wine bar now, but this used to be kind of the study. So we have Jordy's bar. And then we have Jordy's restaurant. So if you're dining, you get a good look at the views. We're gonna go check out the kitchen now. This awesome piece of equipment here, this is called a Heston, custom made, uh, that, that we had made for the mansion itself. Yeah, this is like the Rolls Royce of cooking suite, so it's definitely a dream come true to finally cook on something like this. This is the chef's table, uh, part of the experience you have here at the Wrigley Mansion. So uh, when Chef David Brito's, you know, kind of kind of feeling something experimental, something fun that he wants to do, you can reserve this as a dining space. Uh, up to 12 people we can do. And we're not done dining yet. And welcome to Christopher's. I'm Christopher, and welcome to our beautiful restaurant at the Wrigley Mansion. We incorporated art. We incorporated everything that makes and shows off Arizona. I know, right? A very special piano, obviously. It's uh, one of two in the world. Uh, second one's in the Smithsonian. It doesn't actually play. <laughs> I'm going to pretend like I know You're what very good at this, by the way. <laughs> very good. Down here, we have the cellar. Um, there's uh, 1.6 million in wine that we have in here. Uh, about 2,300 labels and about 15,000 bottles. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to be my favorite room. <laughs> So everything set up, it, it's kind of a, a very cerebral, kind of sexy wine library, if you will, the, the way we have everything kind of set up between uh, everything kind of shelved off and cordoned and everything else. Uh, the table where we can start people here. We want to share the cellar, we want to share wine, we want to share stories, experiences, the whole nine, so. Cheers to Wrigley Mansion. To the Wrigley Mansion. <laughs> so there are bottles in there? Yeah. Worth $10,000 and up, Ooh, baby. Yes. Holy moly. Insane. <laughs> so Jamie Hormel owns the Wrigley Mansion now and is dedicated to keeping its history alive by restoring and also reimagining it on top of the tours you can take and yeah. the amazing dining. They have events that go on from oh. time to time and we're mm -hmm. actually kicking one off today. It's a special wine festival happening oh, at the cool. Wrigley Mansion today through Sunday. Okay. And it's called Festivin 2023. So just go to the website, check it out. I'm actually going to be going to some of the events. They have a nice. number of special wine tastings and dinners oh, uh, yeah. during this festival. I'm looking around to see if you brought us any right? wine here, but I don't see anything. All right. Next week. I was yeah. told wine <laughs> is made for sharing. So you got to go there. They yes, have plenty indeed. of bottles. You got to gotta have some girl, good, good girlfriends. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely.